how to find bond length well i will teach you super easy concept of bond length from basic to advanced with easy tricks firstly what is bond length well the average distance between nuclei of two bonded atoms and a molecule is called bond length for example consider this diatomic molecule let the atomic radius of a atom is r1 and the atomic radius of b atom is r2 now bond length of this molecule is equal to r1 plus r2 thus remember that bond length is the distance between the centers of two atoms bonded together now we will learn the basic concept of bond length firstly bond length depends on electronegativity difference we know that down the group electronegativity difference increases for example consider these molecules we can see that hydrogen is the common atom and bonded to all other atoms let this is the size of hydrogen atom now the remaining atoms are halogens fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine we already know that down the group electronegativity difference increases hence the size of fluorine is like this the size of chlorine is little bit bigger the size of bromine is more bigger and the size of iodine is biggest we can see that hydrogen iodide is the biggest molecule hence it has highest bond length while hydrogen fluoride is the smallest molecule hence it has lowest bond length thus this is the order of increasing bond length from this example we conclude that bond length is inversely proportional to electronegativity difference i mean if electronegativity difference increases bond length decreases if electronegativity difference decreases bond length increases hence note it down this first concept of bond length secondly bond length depends on atomic size we know that atomic size increases down the group for example consider these molecules we can see that carbon silicon germanium and tin are all in the same group their respective atomic size increases down the group the size of carbon is like this the size of silicon is little bit bigger the size of germanium is bigger and the size of tin is biggest we can see that the size of tin is biggest hence its bond length is also largest while the size of carbon is smallest its bond length is lowest thus this is the order of decreasing bond length from this example we conclude that bond length is proportional to atomic size hence note it down the second concept of bond length thirdly bond length depends on single double and triple bonds for example consider these organic compounds we know that this single bond contains two electrons this double bond contains four electrons this triple bond contains six electrons now listen carefully if the electron density is high the shorter will be the bond length let me repeat it if the electron's density is high the bond length will be shorter hence i write more electron density is inversely proportional to bond length we can see that this triple bond contains six electrons it has highest electron density thus it has shorter bond length while this double bond has four electrons are lower electron density thus it has larger bond length while this single bond has two electrons are lowest electron density thus it has largest bond length therefore a has greater bond length than b and b has greater bond length than c thus remember that 
electron density is inversely proportional to bond length. Hence, note down these basic concepts of bond length. Now, I will teach you the advanced concept of bond length. To learn the advanced concept of bond length, you must learn the concept of resonance. I teach my personal trick to master the concept of resonance. Let consider Mr. Pi and Mrs. Sigma. I say Pi Sigma love. This Pi stands for Pi bond. This Sigma stands for Sigma bond. L stands for lone pair of electrons. This O stands for dot or free radical. And this V stands for vacant orbital or positive charge. Consider this example. Here in this compound, this double bond contains pi bond, this single bond is sigma bond and this is lone pair of electron. The first condition of pi bond, sigma bond and lone pair of electrons is satisfied so resonance is possible in it. In this compound, there is pi bond, sigma bond and free radical. The second condition is satisfied so resonance is possible in it. In this compound, there is pi bond, sigma bond and vacant orbital. The third condition is satisfied, so resonance is possible in it. Thus remember that resonance is possible if there is pi bond plus sigma bond plus lone pair of electrons or free radical or vacant orbital. Hence note it down this easy trick of resonance. Now we will learn the concept of bond length depends on resonance. Well, the order of decreasing bond length is single bond, a resonance structure having less double bond, a resonance structure having more double bond, then pure double bond, then pure triple bond. Using this trick, we can easily solve the advanced level questions of bond length. For example, consider this question. In the first part, there is sigma bond, sigma bond and lone pair of electrons. Hence, no resonance is possible in it. It is a pure single bond. In the second part, there is a pi bond, sigma bond and lone pair of electrons. Hence, resonance is possible in it. Secondly, there is only one double bond present in this compound. In the third part, there is a pi bond sigma bond and lone pair of electrons, hence resonance is possible in it. Secondly, there are three double bonds present in it. Now according to the rule, the first part contains pure single bond, so it has highest bond length. In the second and in the third part, resonance is common. Now here we look at the number of double bonds. Let me repeat it. We look at the number of double bonds. The third compound contains more or three double bonds. It means that it has also more electron density. Thus, it has comparatively lowest bond length. While the second compound has one double bond or less electron density, thus it has comparatively higher bond length. Therefore, I write a has greater bond length than B and B has greater bond length than C. This is the order of decreasing bond length. Hence note it down this important question. Now consider this another question. In the first part, there are all single bonds and there is no double bond. Hence it is a pure single bond. In the second part, there is a pi bond, sigma bond, but there is no lone pair of electrons, free radical or vacant orbital, so resonance is not possible in it. Hence, it is a pure double bond. In the third part, there is pi bond, sigma bond and pi bond, hence resonance is possible in it. Now, according to the rule, the first part contains pure single bond, so it has highest bond length. And the third part, resonance occur, so it has a little lower bond length than the first part. In the second part, there is a pure double bond, 
so it has lowest bond length thus a has more bond length than c and c has more bond length than b this is the order of decreasing bond length therefore using this trick we can easily crack any question of bond length